Before starting a software development project, it is important to understand the approximate cost, timeline, and scope of the project. Understanding the approximate cost, timeline, and scope of the project may be an internal effort amongst your software engineering team, or this may be an activity requested of your software development partner. It is important that all project stakeholders are aware of the software development efforts, costs, and timeline so that there are no surprises down the road. Both the technical team, as well as the perhaps less technical business, marketing, and operations teams should be on the same page regarding the software development efforts, spending, and milestones. With over 40 years of experience in estimating software development projects, we here at PSI are sharing today some of our best software estimation tips to get you a really focused software project estimate. We truly cannot stress enough the importance of software requirements. Not only are software requirements the key to a successful software development effort, but they are also the key to creating a very focused and sound software development estimation. When a product owner or an engineering manager is able to thoroughly convey the software specifications to either internal software engineers or their external software development partner, they can expect to get the same results in an estimate. Conversely, if a product owner or engineering manager is unable to provide a focused vision for the software development effort in question, then they're likely to receive the same type of software estimate, likely a range or best guess estimate that may not accurately represent the intended software development effort. To quickly summarize that message in basic terms, having a low level software requirement specification is a sure way to get an accurate software development effort. With this being said, it may be challenging to develop low level software requirements without the assistance of your software development partner. The investment in a small engagement to develop low level software requirements can really pay off. In our experience, this effort should take three to six weeks, depending on the complexity of your software system. While developing low level software requirements, your software development partner can work with you and your team in order to accurately define how the software system must function as it relates to the product's desired functionality. Your team may include, for example, stakeholders from engineering, marketing, operations, and investors. During this period, it is very important to discuss the software system as a whole. This may include discussing embedded, web, and mobile components, as well as GUIs, communication protocols, and APIs, along with microprocessors and various chips and hardware to be used. Getting all of the software systems requirements out there in a discussion will give a holistic view of the development effort and allow the software team to have a clear vision for the work product in question. So if you are following along, the first step in getting a really focused software development estimate is to make sure that you have a low level software requirement specification to work off of. The second step in the estimation process is to take the software requirement specification and transform that into a work breakdown structure. Within that work breakdown structure, there's a few different components you'll want to include. First, you'll want to define the subsystems. For example, GUI versus backend cloud database versus physical device or firmware component. In the work breakdown structure, determine the high level development activities like logging, error handling, authentication, and authorization, just to name a few. The second component to include in the work breakdown structure is what documentation you may need. Some of these documents may include, for example, a software design specification, sprint plans, software verification protocols, user's guides, and any other documents that you may need to satisfy regulatory requirements. The third component to include in the work breakdown structure is the testing activities required for this effort. Determining the testing activities required for the effort may include, for example, unit testing, development testing, and even formal software verification or execution of the software verification protocols. The fourth component to include in the work breakdown structure are the various overheads that may be applicable to the development effort. For example, some overheads that may be applicable to the development effort can include the time to set up the project in the build environment, project management, packaging sprint releases, and status meetings, to name a few examples. Fifth, and finally, there are often miscellaneous items that would contribute to a greater software development cost that very often get overlooked. This may be time spent in knowledge transfer sessions amongst various engineering disciplines and even troubleshooting hardware issues that were not expected, but rely on a software engineer to help diagnose the root cause.
Once you have a good handle on all of the elements contributing to the software development effort, the actual estimate can begin. And by this, we mean applying numbers to the work breakdown structure. We find it particularly helpful to estimate in person days. This can then translate into person hours or person months, depending on how you need to show the estimation breakdown. After the estimation activity is complete, sum up the estimation numbers and apply the appropriate hourly rate to get your total. Keep in mind, the cost estimate should be accurate, but the duration of the project in person days may not be indicative of the project's duration, since the number of engineers applied to the project can likely shorten the development timeline if there is a clear division of labor. If you are not looking at your software development effort and including the elements that we specified here today, then you may be disappointed when putting your project out to bid. When key elements get overlooked and internal budgets are developed without a holistic view of a software project, your expectations may result in disappointment upon receipt of external bids higher than anticipated. Estimating a software development project in terms of cost and schedule doesn't have to be difficult when the project is focused and defined. If you found this video to be helpful and would like to learn more, or if you'd like to learn about another specific software development related topic, let us know in the comments below or send us a message at info at psi-software.com.